Today we're going to talk about the three bar pattern that can change the way you think about Forex trading. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. We've had a couple of really big days in the market. It's Thursday, four days into the week, and already we've had some fantastic trades. We've had every day at least one really good 50 pip trade in at least one of the sessions. Doesn't mean you're gonna get all of them, and I think the understanding is that the more you study this and master your craft, and understand about simplifying all these little steps and making it really simple. Number one, to keep you away from the market, from trying to scalp and take trades that are gonna grind you or possibly may just trap you into a losing position. They damages your psychological capital and obviously possibly your financial capital. I'm talking about identifying in our 12 candle window the best, highest possibility trade setups that when they move, they move quickly in your direction. They're over fairly fast. And for the most part, there's very little stress or uh, downside as long as you are patient and you wait for the right setups. The whole point about waiting for these setups is that they are scalable. And we've talked about this in other videos. I'm not interested in trying to make 400 pips. Now there are opportunities in, in the weekly cycles to position ourselves at the high or low potentially of a weekly move to scale into these positions and hold on to them for the bigger picture. But generally speaking, when you start to understand the nature of the stop hunts and how they, for the most part, will methodically come back to try and at least shake you out of a winning position, the strategy, the, t the 12 candle strategy is designed at you being able to take money off the table at any session and obviously identifying the highest possibility sessions and setups to make your trading less stressful, to be able to scale those trades up. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is identifying my number one setup that's scalable. So let's get into it. We're gonna review again our simple system we do this each day because if you, Wayne Gretzky, great hockey player from Canada, said it best, superstars master the basics. And if you master these basic steps and a couple of simple patterns, we, we can talk about every single thing on here and there's nothing that we can disagree on. We talk about structure. We talk about the high and the low of the day. So structure we've talked about geometrical patterns, ascending triangles, descending triangles. We're gonna look at some examples today of yesterday's markets that gave us some great geometry prior to the open of Europe and how the Europe open in the stop hunt completed those patterns and also gave us some other simple setups within that structure off the high and low of the day. So we can't argue about the high and the low. We can't argue about structure because the lines connect, they, they connect the highs and the lows and it either forms a, a geometrical shape or it doesn't. That gives us an idea for measured moves. So instead of possibly just targeting 50 pips, you might have a move that's 150, as we saw yesterday on the pound Australian. And again, that's partly where we talk about this in our daily levels. We identify other swing points on the longer time frames. So instead of having six screens with all these multiple time frames, we're using the clock to converge all of those based on our setups and our geometry and identifying a couple of very simple structural patterns based on price that will allow us to enter the market and position ourselves with a one bar stop for asymmetrical risk reward, three, four, five, maybe 10 times your risk. Timings are the utmost critical importance. And we're gonna go again a bit more into this and the one, two, three again today, the 12 candle window and how this works, how it really works, and then just stepping back and start thinking about the three things that markets do. We talk about this every single day, the three things that markets do. They break out, they pull back, and they continue, and they trend. They break out, they pull back and reverse and false break and trade to the other side of the range, or they break out, pull back, and stay consolidated inside of a trading range. That's the only three things that markets do. Price behavior, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Identifying 
the number one setup that will change the way you think about trading and how simple you can make things and also not going to the screen every day thinking you have to get the 50 pips. The market might move 50 pips but there may not have been an ideal trading setup there. That's okay. You have to get yourself into that mental headspace where you're a sniper and you're looking for one or two specific setups and that's it based in that 12 candle window. That's the highest probability area for setups, for stop hunts, for reversals, for trend continuations. Targeting asymmetrical risk reward. Again, one bar stop or a stop up at near the high of the day, near the low of the day for a move back to the other side or a continuation for an extension or a measured move of again, three, four, five, maybe 10 times what you're risking on that one trade setup. And of course, self-management, trade management, headspace, mindset, your approach. My whole mantra is about scaling these trades up. So I'm, I'm no longer worried about trying to catch the, the burst out of the trading range or chasing the momentum. It's about really getting into the headspace of what you're looking and targeting for. You know, my objective is to condense and focus my energy on these setups and I'm prepared to, to build the size on those as results keep dictating to do so rather than worried about trying to scalp out pips and and constantly jump into moves so I can get some pips that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking to concentrate my focus and my energy and my capital on these trade setups and when I'm wrong I want to make sure my loss is cut right away and when I'm right I want to make sure that I hold on to that trade as if, if, if it's doing what it's supposed to do I want to hold on to that trade and squeeze them as most out of a winning trade as possible and lose the least amount on a losing trade as possible. In every trade, you learn something new. So again, let's talk about this 12 candle window. Every session is the same. So we talk about 8 to 11 p.m. for Asia. This is New York Eastern Standard Time. We talk about 2 to 5 a.m. For London, we talk about 8 to 11 a.m. for New York. Okay, and we've talked about the three hour cycles of the market giving us a high and a low. Now initially, we could come into any session, doesn't matter if it's Asia, uh, or Asia's just traded, or we have had New York, or London, it doesn't matter. What I wanna know is, Am I inside of the high and the low or am I at the high and the low? If I'm at the high and the low, what I would expect to see, we could be, we could be near the high as the market opens up or we're heading into our 12 candle window for New York. We could call this the New York open. We could be up high. I want to know where the highs and the lows are because every session has a stop hunt. Now if we're in a trend, if our structure, if we go back to our first part, what structure are we in? Have we already been in a trend from New York? Have we, have we been making higher highs? Has the market been in a very strong trend day? Have we had any pins up top or underneath? Are we at numbers? We talk about the three bar pattern. So if I'm in an uptrend and the market opens up, actually we'll, do it this way. We'll do our first candle. Could be a little bear candle. The market's the market's been uh, trending up. Our structural our structural chart is up, and then we get a we get a burst in the second candle. Then we get another burst in the third candle, and we get another burst in the fourth candle, taking out the high just prior to going into New York. Then New York opens up, pins the high, and engulfs two of these candles and reverses. Now some traders want to position themselves in that engulfment at the high of the day, except that we don't know if this is going to continue to trend up or if this market is now going to reverse. And so when we have a one, two, three to the high, what we want to see is that the market then how it trades in that opening session. So if we had a one, two, three back down,
we've hit some stops from over here hitting stops traders are short up here and all of a sudden we get a pin hammer back with the original trade and we could have a quarter level here this could be 50 this could be round numbers this could be 75 if we're in a strong trend we will often get a one two three against the trend for the continuation does it have to have a pin not necessarily it can just be a straight up engulfment of this candle if we're in a trend and the market is reversing and we hit the high this could be the end of the move for the reversal back down but as soon as we take out a low this is also a stop hunt in the other direction it's a stop hunt against the trend for the continuation and this is a stop hunt into the high of the day stopping out traders that's what triggers our initial awareness to pay attention to this pair they've broken the high they reversed and stopped hunting back down. We've got a re-entry with the trend. Now, this market in the 12 candle window could still go up here again and pin the high one more time before now into the next candle we get another reversal sideways at numbers. We might get a uh, a little bull candle again before we got one more bear candle and then finally a pin hammer for the move back down measured move of at least 50 pips because our box was 25 and if it breaks through there we measure that and chances are that will go 75 to 100 but my point is this the one, two, three is always going to be either a stop hunt or a continuation move in an existing trend. And we're going to look at some specific examples today of what happened yesterday on some absolutely textbook perfect setups on about four of the pairs. And this is after the market had broken out of its high and low from the Europe Open. So, again, just to review. One, two, three. Three bull candles. One, two, three. Three bear candles. Now there are some other variations that you will occasionally see. We're going to look at some specific examples on the screen today. And again, I really want to emphasize timings. Now, we'll just take this off for a second. I want you to think about something else. Every session, come to the screen at the open and ask yourself, if I'm if the if the market opens up in that 12 candle window and you're inside somewhere between the high and the low if you're up high or down low doesn't matter the market opens up they are going to hit those stops they are going to hit those stops the idea with those three bursts is that it gets traders chasing the momentum in the wrong direction so they may they may burst, they may, if they're going with the trend, if the trend is down, they may burst up to get traders chasing it into the open of the market before they shift it and go down for a measured move. If they want traders to chase it down, they may stop on to the low on a second leg. We may already have a leg down here to get traders chasing it short before they shift it back to go the other way. Now again, we'll see that after an extended move in London where the market's exhausting itself into the lows. And you, again, you'll see the market extending down and pulling back, extending down and pulling back, not moving up and then trading down. There's a big difference. And again, we're gonna look at some specific examples, but I want you to just think really simple. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's that simple. High and low of the day in that 12 candle window, very, very specific. Price behavior, are we in a breakout? Is the one, two, three a breakout or is it a stop hunt? So if it just hits the high and pulls back, that's a false break reversal, that's a stop hunt. If it breaks out, 
in 25 pips. So if we go, we're at the high of the day, the market breaks out in three bursts and goes 25 to 50 pips above the high of the day, that is not a false break. Okay, if the high of the day is here and it goes 25 to 50 pips, that is a breakout. Okay, now, does the market pull back and hit it three times and then reverse? Or does the market, one, two, three, does it come down, pull up, come down, pull up, and come down for a reversal? One, two, three, the other way for the move back with the trend. These are all the things that you need to study. You're going to see the one, two, three every single day. It comes in different variations, but I can assure you it's there because that's what gets the movement happening when the session's open. And again, ask yourself one question. Am I inside or am I outside? Am I, am I at the high or low of the day? Or am I inside of the high and low? Because there will be a stop hunt. Now you may be in the stop hunt initially on a breakout move. Or, and sometimes with the trend, those can be very strong, great trades to be in. But at the end of the day, if you're not in, in the trend in the initial move, there will still be a stop hunt or a continuation with that initial one, two, three. So again, 12 candles, price behavior. We're gonna look at this on the charts today. Targeting risk reward, one bar stop. And again, three, four, five times your risk. Managing yourself. Stop chasing and looking for very, this is a very specific pattern. You cannot mistake it. And if you think about it, if you get the textbook perfect one, two, three, that's 45 minutes. So you have 45 minutes to be able to identify that setup and it's gonna be in that 12 candle window. And we talked about that first hour often being a trap. So again, developing a laser-like focus for some very simple setups reduces the stress and all the uncertainty about chasing all these different you know indicators and moves and trying to diversify and trade multiple pairs focus your energy and concentrate it on some high probability setups get really 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 specific and good at them and then scale them in size these happen every single day let's look at some examples today traders hopefully your trading is improving every single week master the basics have a great trading session and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.